Hey there, welcome back to the UniHosted YouTube channel. My name is Fernando and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can adopt a Unify access point to your local controller. Let's begin. All right, let's begin. Now, adopting the access point to your Unify controller should be pretty simple. Everything depends on your network setup, all right? In this video, I'm just going to show you a basic setup. Uh, my access point is connected to the same network of my Unify controller, which it's installed on this Windows virtual machine. So I'm just going to open the network server application so we can log into the controller. Something really important, the access point should be in the factory uh, default state, all right? So if you need to adopt the device, remember, it needs to be in the factory default state. Now, we have the application ready, and network server ready to open and log in over here. So let me log in with my credentials. And again, this access point is connected to the same network of my um, Unify controller. So if I go over here to the Unify devices tab, you can see the access point is there and ready to be adopted. So you can see you have the orange uh, light that says pending adoption. Now I'll click over here so we can begin with the adoption. The status is adopting. We might see something like getting ready or provisioning or things like that, depending on the version that you install of the Unify controller. And also the access point when it's in the factory default state the led light is blank now it will change to blue after the adoption is successful all right so just wait into the adoption to finish so if the access point is not on the same network of your uh, unified controller you need to uh, take care of a few more things uh, which we will cover on another video but basically it's called layer 3 adoption all right well you can see here the uh, light over here or the indicator says green and it shows online wonderful the status here says up to date now i've been playing with this access point for a while and the firmware has been updated already if the access point that you are setting up um probably the firmware needs to be updated this is really important so please remember to update the firmware before you start setting up your wi-fi network all right so just going to show you one more thing. Um, I'm going to click over here. Now, here you have all the information of the access point, okay? Overview, insights. Of course, this access point, um, I didn't set up any Wi-Fi network, so there's no much info over here. If we go to settings, what I'm, I want to do is I want to change the name. Yeah, I know it sounds silly, but uh, something very important. Before you place your access point in any part of uh, your home or your company, please set up a name. Uh, and of course, it I think the best idea is to set up the name of the place that is going to be placed. All right. So just to give you an example, let's change it to room one and let's apply the changes over here. If I close this window, after a few seconds, uh, this green light will change to orange like the one that we saw. That's because the um, access point is getting the information that basically we changed the name. That's it. But then when you do more changes like, you know, setting up the Wi-Fi network, maybe setting up a static IP on this access point, this uh, process will also happen. So that's something that I wanted to mention. Okay, so that's it for today, and we adopted a uh, access point to our Unify controller. Thank you for watching. This was Fernando for Unihosted. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Unihosted YouTube channel, and turn on the notifications for upcoming videos. If you have any questions or anything to share with us, just drop a comment below. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video.